corrupt. The Arabs are corrupt. Israel's corrupt. China's corrupt. The Russians are corrupt. I mean, it's evil in high places. And everything's getting more and more corrupt. As other nations get more corrupt, then other nations trump them with more dirty tactics. And it's just the world is going to hell in a handbasket. I know you know that. And that's why good people have to get involved and, 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 and really try to warn others and, and say no to evil, no to corruption, and offer the alternative to a despotic, evil society. Because things are only going to get worse before they get better, historically. We know that. Philosophically, we understand that as a law of nature. But we have to have that alternative built and ready and demonstrated so people understand as things get worse, here's the alternative. Or here's a group of alternatives. All right, I said to go to your calls. We're going to go to them and then all the news. It's all coming up. Laura in Iowa and then John in London. Laura, you're on the air. Hi, Alex. I want to let you know that I am extremely serious about hearing about the female reporters being threatened of rape or being raped. I am a highly respected, high-ranking mixed martial artist. I'm an oath keeper. I'm also a TV reporter for In Your Face Television Network, and this is extremely disturbing news. In my martial arts school, there are goons coming in, like the police are coming in to be trained in mixed martial arts. And who do you think they're going to use this stuff on? The American people. This extremely furiates me. I am shaking. I am so mad at these people for doing to these women and the reporters, beating the children. Well, good it's cops should be mad, too, because all these videos of them tasering bedridden women and these videos of them beating up little kids and the videos of cops raping women, this is all coming out. And uh, and the establishment wants a war between the people and the police. They want us at each other's throats. We've got to somehow have these people rebuked so that uh, we don't go into this self-fulfilling prophecy of an us-against-them system. And I would also recommend for all your viewers listening right now to join a mixed martial arts school, not a Taekwondo academy, not a boxing academy, but a mixed martial arts. Because when they corner you in jail for speaking your free amendment right to have free speech, and if they're cornering you and they say they're going to rape you, hurt you, kill you, that at least you have a chance to defend yourself when you're unarmed. Well, ma'am, that's called vulnerable. terrorism. I mean, according to their definition now, if a cop is raping your five-year-old daughter, uh, you're not allowed to defend yourself. That's an act of terrorism. It's an act of love by the government to rape children and women and others. And I'm not joking. This happened at Abu Ghraib, and they call them patriots. They rape children with flashlights dripping with battery acid. That's in the Army report, uh, the General Tagumbu report. Uh, and I'm not kidding. You can't make this stuff up. Uh, and uh, they are going to try to protect them. And sadly, if you tried to defend yourself in one of the government rape rooms, they would then kill you and, and claim you were a terrorist. Uh, look, how, look how many people are dying in TSA custody or dying in Canadian TSA custody. But I do agree, mixed martial arts are good because I guess it teaches you moves, uh, you know, to be able to subdue people uh, in the ground game or whatever they call it uh, and uh, not have to... Uh, you know, the problem is so many people then end up trying to rely just on uh, their mixed martial arts instead of just explosively defending themselves. But it is important to know how to punch somebody in the throat. It is important to know how to uh, – mainly it just gets me on the ground and stomp on their head. I mean, it's the quickest way to deal with somebody. But, I mean, you can't talk about that with cops. You, you need to teach – we need to teach our daughters and our mothers and our – and our wives, that when the government wants to rape them, to, to say, thank you, God, please rape me. Oh, I love you. No, I'm, I'm, I'm being sarcastic, Laura. It's just that the level of government worship has gotten so sick uh, that, that, that now it's terrorism for you to even say that you would defend yourself if an officer was trying to rape you. Now, the, the common law in the United States says that if a cop outside of their duty and outside of their jurisdiction, say, tries to kill you, you have a right to defend yourself. And there's been a lot of cases of that, but they're trying to change the perception that I see court cases every day in the news where cops are beating someone with a billy club, so they raise their arm just to block the blow. That is assault. You are to say, please break my jaw for no reason. Please, I worship you. You are my king. You are my lord. You are the government. I appreciate your call. John in London, you are on the air. I hope you don't talk about defending yourself. 
I hope you don't you know, say that the Jews in Germany, when they were being run into pits to be shot in the back of the head, should have defended themselves. Of course, that's what I believe, but I'm a terrorist. Uh, go ahead. Alex, can you hear me? Yes, I can. If you wrote a letter about the, the New World Order and you persuaded some of your celebrity supporters to sign it, surely that letter could be used to wake up middle America within days. I don't know. People really don't listen to what Hollywood people say. And I, I've met a lot of Hollywood people. I've been told by a lot of high power people they admire what I'm doing, but they're scared. Uh, and I've had a few big Hollywood people on the show. Um, but uh, then a lot of times they get so much heat. I mean, Willie Nelson came on and talked about 9-11 being an inside job. And he got death threats all over the place till his family just said, please, will you not have him on anymore? Dad really likes you. And and he likes coming on. He'll come on if you ask him, but we're getting death threats and we're scared. So I haven't bugged Willie to come on in a year and a half because of the death threats. Charlie Sheen got demonized and set up and lied about when he went public. Jesse Ventura has been demonized and lied about. Uh, and I know a lot of other people, even bigger than Willie Nelson, if you can believe that, bigger than Charlie Sheen. There's not many. Uh, bigger than Jesse Ventura that know. And they're, they're, they're not going to go public just because I've had dinner with somebody or had a phone conversation with somebody, or been at a meeting with someone, and they've confided, you know, hey, off the record, I really agree with you, and I know we're in danger, and, you know, thanks for what you're doing, and we'll, and, and I'll say, well, have you ever thought about going public? They just destroy me, and, you know, uh, you know, we're working on things, maybe someday. Uh, uh, so, so uh, you know, I mean, I can't hardly persuade my wife on what color drapes I want in the house. So, I mean, it's not like I'm all powerful here or something. Well, if you wrote it, I'm sure that some of them could be persuaded to sign it, and they would have safety in numbers as well, wouldn't they? Well, now, that's been discussed behind the scenes, and I've, and I've actually tried what you're talking about, and the people just chickened out and said no. I, I was thinking it would be like Charlie Sheen's letter to the president, but giving the full picture. Well, you know, you know, Charlie Sheen is not an angel. None of us are. And uh, it's because he is a maverick and an original person. And the things the media talks about are exaggerated in a very small part of who he is. Because I know him very well. We're really good friends. Spent a lot of time with him. Uh, but look at how, what they did to him. And then he was told people involved with a production to make a movie uh, about 9-11 were told. Uh, uh, a high-powered producer was called. And told, your children aren't going to be safe if you do this. They were called by a military officer. In fact, they were called by a general. And they were told, your children are not safe if you do this. I'm just here to give you a warning. I'm not threatening your kids, but your kids are going to be targets. Uh, and then you saw Bill O'Reilly get on the news and say, Charlie Sheen, you're not going to make it. Something bad's going to happen to you. Just like a mobster, he said, you understand me, son? You don't make this movie. I mean, and even other news said, my God, it was like a mafia threat. And then I said I couldn't talk about it because I was asked not to talk about it. Mark Cuban separately was going to fund a theatrical release of a, you know, loose change, big budget film. And then the FTC, Federal Trade Commission, called him and emailed him. And this came out in the New York Times and said, listen, we're going to prosecute you if you don't drop this film. And Mark Cuban did drop it. He just said, listen, I, I, I just put out controversial stuff and I'm not even, you know, I, I'm, I'm not going to do this. Uh, and they still indicted him. This came out in the New York Times a year after I couldn't talk about it. I just said he was threatened. This is in the New York Times. And they indicted him for something like $400,000 trade, which the guy's worth like $5 billion, $6 billion. It was nothing. He didn't even, it was an auto trade. They claimed it was insider trading. I mean, even when he backed off, they said, doesn't matter, indict him. And he said, I'm not going to plead guilty to this. I didn't do this. And so, I mean, Ron Paul is now being investigated by the uh, Federal Elections Commission. He says that he is being attacked, and this is persecution. The story is up on prisonplanet.com and infowars.com. I mean, Ron Paul, who is as pure as the driven snow, I mean, he is as close to a saint as you can get. Pious, works 17 hours a day. He is the real McCoy, and he is now under massive federal attack. Uh, I haven't even gotten to that yet today. Uh, I get death threats. I mean, I, I... Ladies and gentlemen, this isn't a game. But, but I understand your point, John. Um, we need scientists and Nobel laureates and people in the establishment to get past their fear and come out. They can't stop us all.